from the pyramid of stupidity life taught me that uh, what you don't know you don't know and we realize that uh, what you think about all the time becomes your reality because in the airwaves and frequency transmission of your energy is directed to what your medulla oblocata or your thoughts are. That means translating into waves that leads to what was said long ago by Nintige, which is the secret of attraction. I think if you ask me, it could be a fact because uh, most times our foundations are faulty. Our belief system, because as a child, you are like a white canvas. There aren't no impression. There are no fears. There are no hibernations. All you have is curiosity, adventure, and uh, innocence. That is why every child must hear this. Every child was born a genius. But along the line, a lot of them become compromised by society into what we call conformity. You want to develop your children into a certain way of life. You want to stereotype them in the mood or with the intention of indoctrination into a kind of life you have discouraged them and has killed their natural skills and competence without knowing that. It may not be intentional, but at the end of the day, that's what you get. So, I like to link it with what Pablo Picasso said. All children are born genius. But I don't know why the, the Western medium, right from the 15th century, if you look at one of the most expensive paintings of Pablo Picasso, it was inspired by a primitive African art, mask of some naked nude women of which that painting broke a record of over 500 years. I think uh, that was uh, way back, around 19th century, where but a steam also discovered uh, that uh, if we can travel at the speed of light, everything will change. But the question is, you don't expect life to wait for you, and you don't expect to end anything with the way you start it. Unless you change the way you approach all issues, all issues are not going to change. So, if you spend time every day doing the same thing, over and over again, you get better with it. As you do it every day, it gets to a time which becomes auto-programmed. Because you need to look at it, because already, all your reflexes and mirror neurons have adjusted to it. So, writing is very good because it develops your mirror neurons and intelligence. That's the way it is. As against no writing, failing to write implies you just pressing some stuff. It's more difficult. What you put down, realize, most times you can only get spontaneous if you have value. Without anything, your reserve. What value are you going to give? And somebody who is not happy from within can never find happiness. Unless you're happy inside, you can never be happy outside. Because the element of nature are not under your control, but you can control the way you relate to everything that you come across every day.